Hey, cool that you're taking a bit of your time to check out this video because um, in this video I'm going to explain you all the room options Warwick has and we got a lot of room options right now and um, I know that the lobby is kind of chaotic right now with all those flickering lights and those weird pictograms everywhere well after this video you shouldn't ask that anymore to yourself because then you know all the things you should know about room options about the game modes so um, yeah let's go and um, well, I hope I'm going to inform you well. Oh god, where should we start? Well, let's start at the normal battle. The normal battle is an old school match. This means that you are allowed to use all the weapons and you are not bounded to any rules. You can recognize a normal battle room by looking at the X icon. The next option is the close combat battle. You can choose two different kind of battles. Basic weapon mode lets everyone play with fists, so the chances are equal. The other one is personal weapon mode that allows you to use every knife you want. For example a katana or a sword. This game mode will be shown as a knife pictogram. When you see an assault pictogram in the lobby it means that it is a room where you can only play with a few characters. So for example you can only choose a medic and assault or a sniper and a heavy trooper. So to make everything clear this mode excludes branches. Well that were some of the room options but uh, we are not done yet so let's go to the rest. With the pistol battle you are able to choose two different game modes. The first mode is basic weapon that gives everyone a cult. And the personal weapon mode gives everyone the opportunity to choose their own handgun like the MP5K or the Glock. This mode has a handgun icon. The next one is the grenade battle that can be recognized by the little grenade icon. It offers two game modes. With the grenade battle you can only throw with grenades and the cool thing about that is that they are infinite. The other mode is a water balloon mode, where you can throw with little blue water balloons and get a summerish feeling. When you see a bullet icon it means that you are about to join a kamikaze room. The kamikaze mode gives three options. You can play pistol mode, where you can only play with the Luger handgun. The second one is the rifle mode, where you have to play with the Springfield. And the last one is the sniper mode, where you are only able to play with the Tokarev. The last room option is the event mode. Here you can choose out of two modes as well. The first one is the big head mode where everyone is having a bubble heading game. So it's much easier for people to kill each other. And the last mode is the squeaky hammer mode where you have to kill each other with a cute red hammer. This mode has an event pictogram. Oh and I almost forgot, when you want to play clan war you just simply switch your room type. So yeah that were all the room options and um, I got a question for you guys and the question is what game mode do you like the most or which room option? So um, let me know that in the comments, I'm really curious. And do you have a question? Let me know that as well. I will try to answer them as well as I can do that, you know? So um, basically that was it. Um, subscribe if you didn't do that already. Like this video and also comment as I said before. So uh, this was the video, I want to thank you for watching. And uh, as I always say, and I see you guys next time.